Tell her, find me a target. I think I got one, sir. Do you or do you not have a target? It's hard to make out, sir. In today's video, we will discuss the 10 best war movies of the 1990s. Before we get started, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. This thing could park a couple of hundred warheads off Washington. Nobody would know a thing about it until it was all. Coming in at number 10 on our list is the Cold War classic, The Hunt for Red October. Directed by John McTiernan, this gripping naval thriller, based on Tom Clancy's best-selling novel, captivated audiences upon its release in 1990. The film follows the Soviet naval captain Marco Ramius, portrayed by Sean Connery, who plans to defect to the United States with the advanced nuclear submarine. Red October, CIA analyst Jack Ryan, played by Alec Baldwin, discovers Ramius' intentions and must convince the U.S. military of the captain's true motives to prevent an all-out conflict. The Tuskegee Airmen 7 MB 109s at 1 o'clock. I'll take the leader. Roger that. Straighten up. At number 9, we have the Tuskegee Airmen a captivating made-for-television movie that sheds light on a lesser-known aspect of World War II. The film tells the true story of a group of black pilots who faced racism and injustice within their own military, but persevered to create one of the most exceptional aerial fighter squadrons of the war, with an impressive all-star cast, including Lawrence Fishburne. The movie received widespread acclaim, earning three Emmy Awards and a prestigious Peabody recognition for its powerful portrayal of the Tuskegee Airmen's courage and resilience in the face of adversity. The Last of the Mohicans Stay alive no matter what occurs! I will find you! No matter how long it takes, no matter how far! At number 8 we have The Last of the Mohicans, a cinematic gem that sheds light on the often overlooked French and Indian War of the mid-1700s, a conflict rarely explored in the war film genre dominated by World War II and the Vietnam War. Directed by Michael Mann and featuring a standout performance by renowned actor Daniel Day-Lewis, the film skillfully weaves this historical backdrop into an epic romantic action adventure, released in 1992. The Untamed Frontier. Dropped in to see how you boys is doing. One man. The Last of the Mohicans is not just one of Michael Mann's finest works, but also a loose remake of a 1936 film and a faithful adaptation of James Fenimore Cooper's 1800s novel. Gettysburg. Soldiers. War made them brothers. Courage made them heroes. At number seven, we have the movie Gettysburg. This nearly five-hour war epic focuses on the Battle of Gettysburg during the American Civil War. Confederate General Robert E. Lee, portrayed by Martin Sheen, and Union Major General George Meade, played by Richard Anderson, lead their armies in a crucial battle that becomes a significant turning point in the war. The star-studded cast, including Tom Berenger, Stephen Lang, and Jeff Daniels, brings to life the historical accuracy of the battles fought during this period. The movie delves into the differing ideologies and viewpoints of both sides, providing a deeper understanding of their perspectives and beliefs about the war's true purpose. Gettysburg offers an in-depth and comprehensive representation of the significant events and complexities of the Civil War. Three Kings George Clooney Mark Wahlberg and Ice Cube at number six, we have Three Kings, a film that takes you on a thrilling journey with four American soldiers as they embark on an unexpected gold heist in post-Gulf War Iraq. This action-packed adventure, featuring a talented ensemble cast, offers a unique lens to examine the aftermath of war, blending elements of action, drama, and comedy while also providing a critical perspective on American foreign policy. We can't take you to the Iranian border. Then we don't have a deal. We just saved your life! We... Directed by David O. Russell, who would later achieve great success in the mid-2000s, 
Three Kings unfolds against the backdrop of Iraqi uprisings during the Gulf War, making it a heist comedy with hilarious performances by its lead actors. Courage Under Fire Patella, find me a target! I think I got one, sir! Do you or do you not have a target? It's hard to make out, sir! At number 5, we have Courage Under Fire. This gripping film directed by Edward Swick follows the journey of Lieutenant Colonel Serling, played by Denzel Washington, who's grappling with a tarnished reputation due to a tragic incident during the Gulf War. His transfer to a desk job coincides with the Army's efforts to conceal the details of the incident. He can't escape. Fire! He was like a brother to me. However, Serling is thrust back into the field when he's tasked with investigating the story of Captain Karen Emma Walden, Meg Ryan, set to receive a posthumous Medal of Honor. The Thin Red Line Nothing can touch me. No hurt, no grief, not even death. At number 4, we have The Thin Red Line, a film that reimagines the fictionalized version of the Battle of Mount Austin during World War II specific theater. Directed by the brilliant Terrence Malick, this movie is renowned for its breathtaking cinematography, offering one of the most visually striking portrayals of war ever captured on screen, despite its nearly three hour in time. Make no difference who you are. No matter how much training you got, how tough a guy you might be, you're in the wrong spot at the wrong time. The Thin Red Line stands out as a philosophical and thought-provoking take on war, as it delves into the complexities of the human experience during times of conflict. Braveheart. We didn't get dressed up for nothing. We can't be an army. We can't! And we will! <laughs> Would you be willing? For one chance. At number 3, we have Braveheart, Mel Gibson's masterful portrayal of the true story of William Wallace, the valiant Scottish warrior who led his people in their struggle for independence against England and King Edward I. While Braveheart isn't your typical war movie initially, it evolves into an all-out medieval conflict where Wallace leads thousands in a decisive victory against the English army at the Battle of Stirling Bridge in 1297. Then tell our enemies that they may take our lives, but they'll never take Oh, freedom! It might play a little fast and loose with historical fact, but Mel Gibson's Braveheart is a breathtaking action-packed epic. Schindler's List They say your factory is a haven. They say you are good. At number two, we have Schindler's List. Steven Spielberg's cinematic masterpiece. It's a cultural landmark that has drawn both praise and criticism. The film, led by Liam Neeson as Oscar Schindler, a naughty party member turned savior, primarily focuses on the remarkable story of saving 1,200 Jews from concentration camps during the Holocaust. It doesn't shy away from portraying the horrors of that time. By law, I have to tell you, sir, I'm a Jew. What? I'm a German. So there we are. Schindler's gradual awakening to the atrocities and his subsequent efforts to use his resources for the greater good create a powerful narrative. In the end, he's haunted not by the lives he saved, but by the ones he couldn't. Saving Private Ryan Come on! Doesn't make any sense. At number one, we have Saving Private Ryan. A gripping war film set during World War II, the story follows a group of soldiers sent on a dangerous mission to find and bring home Private James Francis Ryan, the last surviving brother of four soldiers who have been killed in action. As they journey through war-torn France, the team faces intense battles and challenges, highlighting the harsh realities and sacrifices of war. I have my orders too, sir. They don't include me abandoning my post. The film's visceral and realistic depiction of combat, particularly the harrowing Omaha Beach landing scene, has earned it widespread acclaim for its immersive and powerful portrayal of the D-Day landings. With its compelling plot and emotionally charged performances, Saving Private Ryan stands as an iconic and unforgettable movie in the war genre. That's it guys. If you like this video, kindly give it a thumbs up and make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.